All right, at this point, our entryway is half done over there. Um, I still got a little bit to go, but we're it's looking better, and we've got somewhere to park from the road now. Okay, so I have the joints parallel to the fence that uh, the fence is now cut and tied off to, and then the re there are two different panels uh, heading towards where the cattle guard is going to be eventually. I've got one more panel on each side to put in, but I can't do that until I dig a hole to bury the cattle guard into. Then I can set those posts and weld up the rest of that, and then put a gate in. Look down right here, you can see there's kind of a bump right there where the gravel hits up against the dirt. We need to shave the dirt down by oh, a foot or so, uh, all the way back in through where we're going to be driving, so that we don't bottom out uh, cars right there or anything. And then, for the moment, you saw the stupid cows earlier, so I've got myself a wire gate put up here so they can't get out. Um, it works so far. Alright, I've got it painted with a primer, uh, primered spray paint, which looked really good, but uh, if you look close, we've got more stupid cow problems. I don't know if you can see that, but they're rubbing up against it, and they're starting to rub the paint off of it. So I'm going to have to hit this with another coat, I think, here in a little bit. I'm really happy there are cows in here right now. Day one of dozer work is done. So he's got a flat level spot for the house there. If you look, you can see two different p colors of piles of dirt. The far one over there is darker. That's our topsoil. He's rounded that up so we can scrape it back over everything once we're done. The lighter stuff there is uh, what's down below it. And that's just, uh, it's a really pretty unconsolidated sandstone, which is great. That means the house shouldn't move or settle and uh, doing ICF should work out really well. Those piles will be used to uh, kind of level out things down over here towards the pond and build up our road and driveway coming in. About right there is where our garage is going to be. Um, we've got a little bit of a problem to come up to surmount here. Um, you can't really see it now that he's dug it up, but the drainage in that hillside goes right down through here, which is going to be, you know, maybe 15, 20 foot away from the edge of the garage. So our options are, we can put a big giant culvert and bury it down here all the way over and head towards that pond. Uh, or we can kind of make a channel or, yeah, a, a channel on the surface uh, and cover it in concrete so it doesn't wash out. Which I think is probably what we're going to do. So right through here we should have uh, almost a little mini river um, to let water flow down whenever it's raining really hard down there. Um, Anyway, so that's that's the plan. That's how we're going to solve that problem. Okay, if you look up in the trees, you can see some boulders up there. Those are all over the hilltops all around here. Um, here's one he dug up just now. It's a little closer. Uh, he chipped a piece off of it here, and you can see you can see sand grains. You can also see some bigger pieces mixed up in there. Uh, that's a conglomerate. So this is the Collings Ranch conglomerate, uh, which is kind of the cap rock for a lot of the hills around here. Dirt works right over there. The driveway is coming right through where that brush pile is. Uh, kind of right down right here. And then it's going to go right in between those two trees right there. Right there and then circle around to the entryway you see in the back. So I've got some tree trimming to do here pretty soon before he gets over here with the dozer. This big sucker is going to be our cattle guard up there. I'm not convinced we need it, but... Uh, it's a heck of a lot cheaper to buy a used one of these than it is to put a fence around the whole thing to keep Dad's cows out. So this is the solution until we come up with a better plan. Um, this guy is going to be buried right over there.